channel today we are working on a uh, programming challenge 3 in chapter 12 in the book starting out with java 5th edition uh, this programming challenge is to create a GUI application that would calculate the meal the meal plan for a student uh, that uh, that's uh, that's in a in a college or university so you have to uh, use uh, two combo boxes to show uh, different uh, dorms and uh, also show um, or sh also show uh, meal plans, uh, three different meal plans. And depending on what the student uh, chose, we have to show the total of, of the student the total of the um, of the meal plan and the dorm that the student uh, chose in the semester. So let's let's run the um, the program and see um, how it works. Just like I said, uh, the program will have two combo boxes, and I added a label to show the total. And the first combo boxes uh, contain uh, the dorms. There are four of them. So if we choose uh, Allen Hall, for example, uh, and we choose seven day uh, meal plan, it will cost us uh, $2,060. If we chose Pike um, Hall, and we choose, let's say, a 14 day uh, meal plan, meals uh, per week, we will get, uh, we will have to pay for that semester 2,695. How about if we choose unlimited? Unlimited it is 3,100 for the semester. So, I will show you everything I did for this uh, class. I created a dorms and meal plans calculator class that would extend JFrame and it will implement action listener as usual. Uh, here are the static members of the class. These are the dorms and their costs for the semester. Here are three static members that uh, show the meal the meal plan and their costs for the semester. Here are two uh, chain panels. Uh, here is a chain label for holding the total. Here are the here are an array that would hold the name of the of the dorms. There are four of them here, as you can see. Here another um, here is another uh, array that would hold three different meal plans, whether they are a week, two week, or unlimited. Um, then I created two J combo boxes, just like they said they required in the description. And the first the combo box takes uh, the DOM array, and the second combo box takes the meal plan uh, array. Uh, here is the constructor uh, for the class, this class that we created. And uh, here is um, the title of the window. Here is a method called uh, build uh, panel. Then we added main panel to the window and we set the, the panel to the north side. And here is the standard uh, setting the size, default close operations, and we set the visibility to true. Here we create um, uh, the method, a build panel. Here we set the layout of the main panel and we set uh, the border for the main panel uh, to have uh, 20 uh, pixels uh, for all uh, four corners. Then we instantiate, no, no, we added action listener to these uh, two um, combo boxes. Um, then uh, we added a layout to the panel. Uh, the, the layout is a grid layout, uh, which would have uh, two, um, three rows and one column. 
then we added uh, the two combo boxes and the title to the panel and we added the panel to the main panel and we set it to the center of the screen here is the main method to call to run the the program here is the action performed uh, method that we implemented uh, when we uh, when we implemented action listener so here are here is uh, the DOM selected variable. This will uh, store the the selection uh, whenever whenever the person selects uh, one of these uh, DOMs. Um, it will it will hold the DOM uh, selected, and here is the same thing. It will hold hold the meal plan selected so we use a uh, combo box get a selected item uh, it will return a string so you have to cast it to a string here then I created a decimal format uh, to format the currency here I created the total and the meal a uh, meal uh, variable double then I checked whether the DOM selected is the first uh, DOM and if so then we added the total to the to the cost of the uh, DOM Allen, uh, Allen Hall DOM, uh, 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 DOM to the total and here is just um, checking whether uh, the user selected a meal plan uh, whether the person selected the the week uh, meal plan or or two weeks or unlimited and depending on the user selection we add um, either seven uh, seven days per week or two weeks uh, two weeks uh, a meal plan or unlimited uh, meals to the meal um, variable and then here this is the next uh, uh, if statement and we check if uh, the DOM selected is the second one the second DOM effectively and we repeat uh, the cycle um, we make sure that uh, the person uh, sele selected uh, the right uh, DOM and we add we set the total to that uh, uh, DOM's uh, uh, cost in this case it will be um, a bike so bike so and then we check uh, the meal plan that the, that the person chose and we set uh, to the meal and we continue uh, to do uh, for all okay so we continue to do all uh, four uh, dorms and we check the meal plans that the user uh, chose and we set to to meal and the total for that and lastly here we set uh, the label the total label to uh, to the total to the total plus uh, the meals if there is any if the person chose um, any meal any meal plan so that is it um, that's it for this uh, program all they want you to do is in this programming challenge is to create uh, two combo boxes add uh, an array to them and check uh, what what the selection is for the user and then uh, calculate uh, the the cost for that uh, specific dorm or a specific uh, meal plan and then show it.
that's the whole uh, point for this uh, programming challenge. Um, so I think uh, that that would be it for this uh, programming challenge. If you find it useful, please give it a like. And if you want to see similar videos, uh, please uh, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, any commentary, uh, please let me know. Uh, in comment uh, comment uh, in the, the description or in the comment section. Um, and uh, I will read it. Thank you and I will see you next time.